What is going on, you guys? Michael Elefante here. A lot of you have probably heard that starting your own business, whether it be a small business or you grow it into something massive, can be one of the most rewarding things that you can do in your lifetime. And not just financially rewarding, but also just intrinsically satisfying and rewarding too. Now, you've also probably heard that most small businesses fail within the first several years of opening. According to data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, about 20% of U.S. small businesses fail within the first year. By the end of the fifth year, roughly 50% have failed. And by the one decade mark, right at 10 years, only around one third of businesses have survived. And hearing those statistics can be really daunting. It may prevent a lot of people from taking the plunge and opening their own business. Now for the businesses that do survive, right, get past that five or 10 year threshold, many of them struggle to scale. And by scale, I mean growing a business beyond a certain point. You kind of hit a threshold that you cannot seem to break past. So why is that? Well, most of you have probably heard the mantra, whether it be from your parents at home or from maybe a teacher at school, that if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. Now, while there honestly is a lot of truth to that statement, especially minor things in our day-to-day -day lives, it does not hold true for growing a business. In fact, it can be extremely harmful to your business, especially if you're unable to give up control over certain things such as operational tasks. Because if you as the business owner get so bogged down with day-to-day -day operational work, you are unable to focus on strategic activities that help grow your business and focus on your customers. Some of the top things that eat up business owners' times are initially creating the business, filing an EIN, which is an employer identification number, and making sure you're standing everything up properly, right? Forming the business itself. It can really take a toll on somebody who's never done it before. And you spend hours and hours researching online and trying to do it yourself when maybe you could have outsourced that and honestly had it done in just a few days. Next up is payroll. And a lot of people like to do this themselves, especially as a small business. But as you grow and scale and hire more people, it probably makes sense to outsource payroll to a provider or to a professional that can take that off your plate completely. That way, when you have employees and there's an issue with payroll, you can send them to the payroll team or whoever's helping you out in that department. And as a small business owner myself, and I am the only employee of my company at the current moment in time, I run my own payroll, but I can see as if I were to scale to five or 10 or maybe 25 or even 100 employees someday, that would be way too much to take on just payroll itself. So I can totally see how that eats up a lot of small business owners time. Next, we have bookkeeping, and that can completely ruin some of your weeks, especially if you're not organized on the forefront. If you're not keeping books properly. It's going to make it much harder to organize the books later down the road. Honestly, with the books, I would recommend outsourcing to your professional just from the get-go. It's not that expensive to outsource that aspect of your business. And of course, last but not least is everybody's favorite thing to do throughout the year. I'm totally kidding, which is taxes. Now, doing a simple tax return on your own isn't too bad. You can learn on YouTube. You can use several software tools out there. Some are free even. But as you get into more complicated personal returns, especially when you have a small business or you have something like real estate investments or even crypto investments, it really helps to outsource to a, an accountant that can do your taxes for you because that can help save you guys thousands of dollars in and of itself alone. Now, there's a really cool company that is sponsoring this video, and I wanted to talk to you guys about that company and what they offer and how much money they're saving people that use their services per year. It's honestly blown my mind learning about them the past few weeks. This company is called 1-800-ACCOUNTANT, and they are a one-stop shop for all of these needs that I mentioned earlier for small businesses. Not only can they give you back countless amount of hours per year, like probably hundreds of hours per year, but more importantly, they can help save you thousands of dollars per year on taxes. Four out of five small business owners pay way too much in taxes, especially during their first year of business. 1-800-ACCOUNTANT has been able to save their clients an average of 12,259 tax dollars per business per year. For some small businesses, that is a massive amount of tax savings, right? That is money that is back into the business and back into your pocket. And remember, that's on top of the countless amount of hours that you're saving by taking yourself out of those operational tasks, as I mentioned before. And think about what you can do strategically to focus on your customers, focus on whatever products or services that you sell, 
and grow the business top line and ultimately grow the bottom line too. Think of their team as an extension of your own team. They're not just there to help you during tax season, but they're there for you to lean on for advice year round. Okay, let's go ahead and just talk pricing because I know a lot of you guys out there who are either investors or small business owners who like the idea of 1-800 accountant um, want to know about the pricing, right? Because you might be saving a bunch of money, but how much does it actually cost for their services every year? Now, before I do that, I do want to mention I'm going to drop a link in the description and I'll try and drop it in the comment section as well to 1-800 accountant site where you can actually get a free consultation. That's right, a free consultation. So before you guys even have to pay for any services, they're willing to take a free call with you to discuss your business, discuss their services, and see if it's even a good fit for either party. All right, so let's talk pricing. 1-800 Accountant has four different pricing packages as of today. They have their basic startup package. And this is best for brand new businesses just looking to file an LLC. You get customized articles of organization, verified name availability search, unlimited phone and email support, and secure online access to all your incorporation documents. So a pretty basic starter package, but this starts at $0 plus whatever state fee uh, is incurred. Next up, you have their business package, and this is best for businesses who need basic accounting support. So beyond just the startup costs and filing the LLC and the articles of incorporation, you get access to a portal, you get a dedicated accountant, year-round tax advice, and then you also have proactive tax planning. So this can help you throughout the year to ensure that come tax season, you guys are prepared to make sure you make the most out of it. And they'll also do quarterly reviews. And this is priced at $125 a month. And remember, Honestly, 125 bucks a month is nothing compared to the amount and savings just during tax season that you're going to get back by working with them. Third, we have the most popular option, which is their corporation package. And this is best for businesses who need tax filing and planning. It is more expensive. It is $225 per month. And you'll, again, you're going to get the same thing you get with the other packages, access to the portal, dedicated accountant, year-round tax advice, proactive tax planning, quarterly reviews, but you will also get access to a personal tax preparation who you'll work with one of their experts on their team and business tax preparation as well. So honestly, this is probably the level that I would recommend start at if it were me, because you can get both business and uh, personal tax preparation done on top of all the other things that comes with the package. Fourth, we have the enterprise package, which is a step up from the corporation package. Um, this is really best for businesses who need full service support from a whole team of experts, right? So $375 a month. It's billed annually like all the other packages are. Um, you get the same things you get in the corporation package, but on top of that, you also get a bookkeeping expert, priority support, and financial reports. If you guys want to look further into any of these packages, again, just hit the link in the description below and you can see more on the 1-800-Accountant website. All right, so that's 1-800 accountant, but let's go back to helping a business grow and thrive. Beyond outsourcing the basic operational tasks, what can help a stagnant business grow? Now, there are many things, but there's one thing I wanted to hit home on in this video, and that is your employees. Some of the best businesses in the world hire employees that can do the job as good, if not better than they could themselves. So of course, you need to have a very, very thorough interview process. Make sure you get good candidates in the door, select the right ones for the job, give them a strong offer letter, but more importantly, you need to provide them with the right training resources when you actually onboard them. Because you can hire amazing talent all day long, but if you aren't a good coach and kind of teach them, show them the ropes, or have a team that does so, they may not even know what they're supposed to do or what a good job from a bad job looks like from their role perspective. I think a lot of businesses tend to cut costs by underpaying employees slightly, maybe not even underpaying them, but just not paying them top dollar. If you don't pay employees well, you don't train them, and then you don't give them opportunity to grow within the company. And if you don't treat them like gold, you're likely going to have a high attrition rate. An attrition rate just means how quickly employees are quitting and leaving and moving on to another uh, employer. Some of the most successful businesses on the planet Think companies like Apple or Google or even Facebook. I know those are tech companies, but that's just a couple to name a few that I know personally people work at each of those. Um, and I've worked at one of those companies in the past too. And I will say that they treat their employees like gold. It is extremely hard to leave a job at one of those companies. 
And it goes beyond just the perks. I mean, they, they make you feel valued as an employee. They value your input and they're invested in your growth as an employee within the company and your growth as an individual. And I think companies that end up being really successful long-term have a much lower attrition rate and have employees that have been there for many, many years. And the longer you're there and the better you guys treat each other and the more valued they feel by you and the rest of the company, they're likely going to do a much better job at work and help the company grow. In turn, likely going to pay for itself long-term and help grow the organization, grow the top line, grow your profitability as well. So I really believe if you do all these things mentioned in this video, it sounds really simple and elementary, but it's true. If you, if you outsource some of those operational tasks and if you treat employees really well, pay them well, I think you're going to be able to grow your company beyond your wildest imaginations. Before you go, don't forget to take advantage of that free consultation by 1-800-ACCOUNT. Even if you don't take advantage of a free consultation today, I do recommend hitting that link and just looking at all the different services they offer. Check out some reviews online. They're a pretty cool company and they offer a lot of things that can likely help you guys grow. And if you are an investor or a small business owner, I would love to hear some comments in the comment section below from you guys. Uh, let us know what are some things that you have struggled with in the past, maybe some ways that you were able to overcome those struggles or adversity and how you were able to get past that first, third, fifth, 10th year in business and really grow your company longer term. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Of course, uh, like the video, subscribe if you guys want to learn more about uh, business, finance, and certainly real estate and Airbnb. I do all sorts of topics like that. So appreciate you watching. See you soon.